Welcome back guys to Dynamics course. In this video lecture, we're going to talk about the last part of chapter 12, which is the relative motion. So what does a relative motion mean? From its name, guys, it's the motion relative to me or to my frame. What does this mean? A relative motion means it is the velocity of any object with respect to my frame, as if I am at rest. And you can encounter this relative motion in your daily basis. In fact, guys, if you are moving in your car, you can see, guys, that the trees are moving in the opposite direction. And if you take a look to the sky, you can see, guys, that the clouds are moving in a certain direction. In fact, you are moving in the car and the earth is moving with respect to the clouds. But relatively to a rest frame of you, you're gonna see the trees moving and the clouds rotating or moving. So guys, a relative motion by definition is the velocity of a particle or of an object B with respect to your frame that is at rest. How can I find the relative motion? In fact, guys, the relative motion could be found using only the position equation. If, for example, I have a translating observer A and an object B, and if I set a constant origin O, then this means, guys, that A will have a position or A and B will have a position or B. Now, this translating observer that I need to find the, the relative motion of B with respect to him will see B at a position of RB with respect to A. So it is the position of B with respect to A. And what is this RB with respect to A? As you can see, guys, RB with respect to A, this vector right here, will be, of course, equal to RB minus RA. So, guys, from this equation right here, RB with respect to A is equal to RB minus RA, and it's very easy, guys, to memorize it. Because, in fact, RB with respect to A is equal to RB minus RA. From this equation right here, guys, I can find VB with respect to A and AB with respect to A by only doing the derivative. So what should I do? I should first derive RB in RJ. I should derive RA in RJ or in rectangular components if this is a 3D IJK. And then, guys, I'm going to find RB with respect to A, and then I can do now the derivative. So VB with respect to A will be also VB minus VA, and AB with respect to A will be AB minus AA. And of course, guys, AB with respect to A is equal to AB minus AA means that AB will be equal to A a plus a b with respect to a by doing only uh, the switch of the parameters. But I, I want also guys you to know that v b with respect to a, which is a vector, is of course equal to minus v a with respect to b. And what does this mean? The velocity of b with respect to an observer a is the opposite velocity of this A here, which is me, with respect to another object B. So if I, guys, I am, for example, uh, 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 I am observ observing your motion, your velocity with respect to me will be the opposite only in sense. All right, so if VB over A, if VB with respect to A is to the right, then VA with respect to B would be to the left. So your motion with respect to me will be opposite to my motion with respect to you. So this is all what you have to know from uh, the relative motion introduction. We're going to also 
uh, uh, solve some problems and what I want guys you to know uh, what I want you to do is to revise the sine law and the cosine law because in fact we're gonna use them in this relative motion so the sine law is very easy in any triangular shape a which is the side a over the sine of the opposite angle to this a so sine big a here so this is an angle all right guys big a is an angle big b is an angle and big c is an angle so a over sine a will be equal to b over sine b will be equal to c the c small c which is the side length over the side c this is for the sine law because we're gonna use it in solving the problems of relative motion in cosine law a squared will be so this side squared will be equal guys i mean also this is very easy to memorize a squared will be equal to b squared plus c squared minus 2 b times c cosine a cosine the angle between b and c and uh, similarly b squared will be a squared plus c squared minus 2 times the product of a and c times cosine the angle between them and so on so c squared has also the same respective equation so this is for the rate of motion uh, be ready for uh, the examples that we're going to solve in the solving problems thank you